What's the Scoop? The interview and variety show that encompasses the world of sports, mixing together athletes, coaches, media figures, and community leaders through life lesson dialogues. So sit back, relax, and listen to the best radio sports talk show. Good afternoon and welcome to the show, What's the Scoop Sports Talk on 1400 AM WDTK. I'm your host, Nate McRae. And I'm your co-host, Gerald Riddles. And today's show is brought to you by Dynasty Sports Management. G, uh, today's guest is known as one of the hardest working and dedicated coaches within professional ranks. Yes, yes. He's held assistant and head coaching roles within the UPBL, the CBA, and the ABA, uh, most recently being named an assistant coach within the NBA D-League. Sweet. With receiving awards and achievements such as being named to the top 10 list of minor league coaches in probasketballnews.com, as well as being named ABA Assistant Coach of the Year in 2010, let's welcome to the show Coach Kevin Keithley. Keith, Coach Keithley. Yes, sir. How's it going? How you doing, man? Uh, It's going good, Nate and Gerald. I tell you what, it couldn't be a bigger honor to be uh, talking to you guys. Uh, you guys based out of Detroit. It's Hulk Hogan. It's yes. Andre the Giant. 93 <laughs> yes, <guys. sir. laughs> it's, it's, Barry, it's Barry Sanders. It's the Detroit Pistons that don't get any bigger. Now I'm on what's the scoop, so I'm excited about it. Hey, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on the show. I'm glad you accepted. I hope you got all your folks down in Kentucky listening to the show. Hey, I... They're listening all, and they're excited about it. <laughs> hey, sweet. listen, uh, you've accepted the assistant coaching position with the NBA D-League Bakersfield's Jam, uh, the affiliate of the NBA Phoenix Suns. Tell me, Coach, uh, what did it feel like when you received the news that you were being tagged as the, as the assistant, and, and how did this opportunity come about? Well, I'll tell you what. It, it really has been about three or four months in the making um we we began talks probably in may and and um, i felt pretty good about it uh of course the head coach there is will void he's another guy that's really paid his dues in the business he's um actually his roots is with greg popovich he was uh on that staff with san antonio spurs that's right and, yeah. from, and from there he uh uh has coached in the aba he won two championships in the aba he coached in the pbl and now he's beginning his third season so He's a guy that really has paid his dues and been in talks with him for about three months uh, about joining his staff and met with him in Louisville. I was one of the head coaches selected to coach in the NBA D-League pre-draft camp, and a lot of, a lot of good coaches were in that. R.J. Adelman, mm-hmm. who is, uh, of course, Rick Adelman's son, was in that. Nancy Lieberman, uh, a lot of, a lot of name, name value there, so I was excited about being a part of it. So yeah. I met with him in Louisville, Kentucky uh, in late June uh, to kind of go over some uh, – little more uh details about position and things and so i've just been on pins and needles since then waiting and got the call last week and and really it's just another uh, uh opportunity and, and really a dream come true right. i know that said a lot but it really is because obviously you want to coach at the highest level as a basketball coach and mm-hmm. possibly this year it will be the highest level that there is uh, depending on what happens with the nba absolutely and, uh, absolutely more excited about it Absolutely. Now, you've coached at all levels, uh, the college ranks, uh, and then you mentioned earlier UBPL, ABA, and the CBA. What would you say was the opportunity that you enjoyed the most? Well, probably, uh, you know, it's always each year uh, gives you something different to uh, when you look back, you look, you say, wow, that was a, uh, a fun time, an enjoyable time. Uh, but, but probably – uh, my first couple of years in college, uh, being a part of that environment, I really loved the in college, the college environment. At Lee's College, I started my career at Lee's College. I was uh, 22 years old, mm-hmm. uh, became the uh, interim head coach there at 22 years old, mm-hmm. and um, so that was really fun. And then the East Kentucky Miners of uh, the CBA, the Miners, uh, you know, 2007, I uh, was named head coach there at 29 years old, and the CBA with all the tradition. 63 years of tradition, Phil Jackson, Flip Saunders, George Carl. Uh, the list goes on and on. Maurice Cheeks, a lot of great coaches. Right. Uh, Well-known and, names in the leagues. Yeah, came that way. And and uh, the guys that I had there uh, in the CBA for those two years uh, made it uh, really enjoyable. And, of course, I have a lot of roots in eastern Kentucky. Great, great. Now, as an assistant coach, uh, you were underneath uh, Steve Tucker, 
uh, with the ABA Southeast Texas Mavericks, where you've won a championship last season. What was the contributing factor uh, to the team going 27-4 and four and winning that championship? Well, you can look at a couple. Uh, I've known Coach Tucker, again, going back to uh, our Leeds College days. Uh, we worked together at Leeds College. Uh, uh, so we've known each other since 1999. Um, so he, he, uh, we've known each other a long time. And I actually was offered a couple of different positions after the minors. I actually was offered the associate head coaching position at the University of Lafayette. Mm-hmm. He plays in the Sun Belt Conference. I was actually there for three weeks before I left there. Uh, I was offered a D-League position with Albuquerque, uh, turned that down. Uh, really, the relationship that I had with Coach Tucker and the owner there, uh, it kind of wanted to do that. So I jumped on board there, and and um, that obviously with the coaching staff, with Coach Tucker and myself, that that was a big part of uh, cause his trust and our trust with each other mm-hmm. really, uh, uh, really helped, obviously, because uh, you know, you never know in this business. Uh, coaches can be fickle, and coaches, especially head coaches, you, you you don't necessarily you don't get the green light to the assistant coaches of bringing guys in, and and I and so obviously our relationship helped. But with saying that, <laughs> and within the ABA, the guys that we brought there was certainly the contributing factor. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, our our coaching abilities or whatnot is what got it done. Uh, obviously who we brought in is i mean we brought in some of the best players in minor league basketball bar none and and we just ran through that uh, season and ran through that league in 2009 2010 yeah you guys are like the uh, dream team of the aba right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah we exactly we were i mean there really was there was no competition uh, i mean there was a couple of really good teams that season the bluegrass stallions who now play in the pbl they had a really good team with some former uk guys bobby perry and Wukash Orbzuk, who uh, we drafted in the CBA, and he almost made the Pacers. And uh, Wayne Turner, played for uh, who played for me, played for the Bluegrass Stallions. So a lot of good players. So there was a couple of pretty good teams. But, I mean, every night we were literally being teams by 50 and 60. And when you got a guy like Josh Pace who played at Syracuse and uh, just uh, on the floor, uh, I mean, it was like men against boys. It really was. Right. That's great. That's great. Now you're an NBA D-League coach, or assistant coach, rather. Uh, what do you want to achieve your first year in that system? Well, there's two things. One, I want I want to get my foot in the door. Obviously, I got that opportunity now, and I want to learn. I mean, uh, there's always each each league you go to, there's something new you got to pick up on and adjust to. And and that's for me as a basketball coach. I want to uh, pick up from Coach Boyd, uh, learn as much as I can, uh, get a feel for the D League system, get a feel for how things work within that league. And I feel like I've uh, got off to a pretty good start. Uh, these la- this last week, uh, on the second, on the other end, obviously we want to win a championship. I, you know, last year they had a really good season. Uh, they uh, made it to the playoffs for the first time, won 29 ball games. Uh, they went 29 and 21. Mm-hmm. So they had a really good year. So I feel like this year right here, uh, you know, for me jumping on board could be perfect. I mean, obviously we want to get it done, playoffs, and and. and uh, see where that takes us once we get there but you know obviously it's always the championship is the goal and and again personally it pick up as much as i can uh help where i can help uh whatever my role you know obviously it's, it changes when you get there <laughs> as the staff um he may have me pegged in for uh for certain aspects of the organization but once i get there there's always going to be some shuffling so wherever i can help and, and benefit the team i'm all about it and I'm just going to go to work, bring passion, bring excitement, uh, bring everything that I've always brought to the table. And uh, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, it's an exciting year in Bakersfield, uh, for sure. Absolutely. That's great. What What does Coach Kevin Keefley bring to the table of the Bakersfield Jam organization? Well, I, I think uh, if you talk to anyone that's played for me, uh, anybody that's been around me, I bring a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm. Right. I love what I do. It's like I tell the guys when, when we step on the floor for training camp. Uh, you know, there's not a better place in the world to be. There's a lot of people out there uh, busting their rear ends, uh, making a, a living every day, uh, hard work, factories uh, in Eastern Kentucky, coal mines, uh, jobs that are putting food on the table. But to be able to do what you love to do, be a basketball player, be a coach, mm-hmm. man, there's not a better feeling in the world. Right. And uh, so every day, I, I, you know, I bring that excitement. I bring uh, an effort. Uh, I bring hard work, uh, again, passion, 
And I believe those are, uh, uh, you know, you can't uh, bring enough of that to a staff. You cannot, you know, heck, if, if everybody's like that within a staff, it's going to be a fun year. And I believe that's what I bring to the table. Obviously, you know, having 10 years of experience and uh, the, the better part of it on the pro level, I think I bring a lot of uh, experience talking with agents and, and uh, knowing players and, and what works and don't work within a system. So, I, you know, obviously being able to help Coach Boyd with, uh, hey, this player, you know, has definitely worked within your system. This player may not. So mm-hmm. On that aspect as well. So I got a lot of experience uh, coming in. So there's a lot. But, you know, obviously the passion and excitement, I think that's going to be a big part of uh, staff. And especially when you talk about playing 50 games in the NBA D-League, that's a lot of games. So, right. um, you, you know, to I believe I'll bring that every day to practice and and the game time. Okay. Well, hey, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more with Coach Kevin Keefley on What's the Scoop Sports Talk, 1400 AM WDTK.